Hello and welcome to this ArtCam Insignia demonstration. What I'm going to be doing today is giving you a brief introduction into the world of ArtCam Insignia. Now recently we have added a few new features into ArtCam Insignia and these have been brought over from ArtCam Pro. So ArtCam Insignia is now an introductory 3D design package. Previously Insignia was more geared towards production and manufacture and it was still only 2.5D. So what I'm going to be doing today is basically doing a little bit of design within 3D, just showing you some basic things that you can do with ArtCam Insignia now. And I'm just going to briefly touch on the tool paths because there's not a lot in there that's changed to be completely honest. So what we're going to be doing is creating this quite basic sign. I'm just going to show you how to get the textures and how you can create different 3D effects. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to file and I'm going to open and I'm going to open this peppers image here. So it's just got some red peppers there and I'm just going to open that. I'm going to leave this at the default sizes and OK that and now you can see that that's brought in my image. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a bitmap to vector. Now if you're familiar with ArtCam Express you will have seen this quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is just reduce the colours. Now as you can see this is a, a colourful image so it's got lots of different colours in here in the colour palette down the bottom. So I want to bring this down just until I can get a good vector around the outside of this. So if I bring it down to 2 you can see that that gives me uh, the vector what I could do is bring that back up, let's say to 4, let's say that I just wanted to use this dark brown colour. So let's OK that and I'm going to select the dark brown as my primary colour and create the vectors. Now if I toggle the contrast down, just zoom in, let's say here, you can see that that's given me some really nice vectors, it's not following all of the pixelation around there. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to do this wrong on purpose so <laughs> just in case you see me make a mistake so what I'm going to do is just go to the 3D view and select the outside vector and I'm going to open up the shape editor and I'm going to create a dome on this 45 degrees with a 1mm start height. Now this is a new feature within ArtCam Insignia. It's been brought over from ArtCam Pro. Now, this is the basis of creating 3D shapes within ArtCam. What you can do with this is to create domes, you can create beveled edges, or you can create flat surfaces. Now, if I select dome, what you can do is change the angle of this. So I can bring that right up to a full radius. I could bring that down to whatever I wanted. I could enter the angle. I could do the same thing with the beveled edge. And with the flat, what I can do with that is enter a start height, and that tells me the height that I'm going to create this flat surface at. Now, if I were to do that with the beveled edge, it would create a 1mm flat and then create the beveled edge. And the same is true with the dome. Now I'll just explain about these here. Um, we have limit to height. So basically if you set that, let's say set that at 2 millimeters, the dome will never get above 2 millimeters. So this will create, let's just add it, this will create a radius around the edge like so. Now you can see that this looks really bad at the moment. I'm going to sort that out in a moment. So I'm just going to undo that. And you can also have scale to height, so this will scale the whole of the dome to a specific height. Uh, we also have add, subtract, zero, 
merge high, merge low, zero rest. Uh, the add just basically adds the part on like so. So there you can see it just adds and it keeps on adding. If I were to select that, let's say for instance, and add that at a 45 degree, you can see that that adds onto the top of it. So if I were to undo that, and if I were to select that and subtract it this time, it will scoop out that dome. So if I select subtract, you can see it's scooped out that part of the dome. Now, we also have zero and zero rest. If I were to zero this, it would cut that part out on the inside. If I were to zero rest it, it would cut everything on the outside. So it's basically a cut or a trim tool, the zero and zero rest. Now, if I use the merge high and merge low, let's say for instance, I wanted to create a box around there, and I want to create a beveled edge. If I were to add that, you can see that that's adding it on top of the pepper there. Now, more than likely that you will not want that. So what I'd need to select is merge high. So you can see it's merging onto the top there. It's giving me a nice blend. Now, exactly the same with the merge low, but it does completely the opposite. So if I were to undo that, merge low, you can see that that's cut the part out of the pepper and it's merged them both into each other. So if I just undo that and delete that. Now if I just take a look at this pepper you can see I've got lots of jagged edges around here and it's, it's not looking very good to be honest. It looks pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to sort that out. So if I press here what this does it resets the relief and if I take a look under Untitled here, and just take a look under where it says Artwork, you can see that it's the resolution is 300 by 300 pixels. So this is a really, really low resolution model. And it's not really good enough to be completely honest. That's why we're getting those jagged edges. So if you just hover over here, and select the Adjust Model Resolution, and I'm going to change this anywhere above 1500 will be fine and OK that and there you'll see it's changed the resolution of that and now if I were to create my dome let's just change it back to 45 and add that you'll see that I get a much crisper edge and it looks a lot nicer so there you can see if I just close the shape editor just zoom in you can see I've got a much nicer edge and looks a lot nicer. Here you can see I've got a 1mm start height so it's adding a 1mm flat and then creating the dome for me. Turn off the vectors, turn off the zero plane if I wish and there you can see I've got some peppers. What I'm going to do with these is add them to my clip art library. So if I select here for Relief Clip Art Library. Here you can see I've got my Relief Clip Art Library. Now this is in all of the versions of ArtCam. I have well over 500 pieces of clip art within there for you to use. So all of these are 3D pieces that you can just drag into ArtCam. And I'm going to create a new folder. It should already have been created, but what I'm going to do is go New and then come down to Reliefs and then come down to my red peppers folder select that and press OK there you can see I've got no uh, documents in there I've got no images or reliefs in there what I'm going to do is grab this relief and drag and drop it into the relief clip art library now you can see that that's created a relief for me so I can close that now now I don't need to save this because it's already saved within the relief clip art library so what I'm going to do is go to open and I'm going to open this image this time, this red peppers image. I'm not going to save the changes, it's already saved within the clip art library. And so here you can see this is quite large at the moment. I'm just going to bring it down to about 300 millimeters square. And if 
you take a look at this you can see it's just a red and black image of the text that I want to use and what I'm going to do this time is not use the bitmap to vector I'm just going to bring the colors down using the reduce colors here so there you can see again lots of blacks and reds within there I can bring that down if I bring it down to 2 just got a red and white image bring it back up to 3 so the black comes back and I'm going to OK that now previously I showed you how to use the shape editor uh, working with vectors what I'm going to do this time is use the shape editor working with colors so if you go to the 3D view turn on zero plane and click this button here color shade what this does it shows the image within the 3D view just zoom in on it a little bit and what I can do is open up the shape editor now you can see that here we've got a color if I double click on the red you can see it changes to red I double click on the black it changes to black now this will allow me to specify a shape to any particular color so if I were to go back to the red and I'm just going to add a 2.5 millimeter start height and create a flat and I'm going to add that if I just move that out of the way turn off the zero plane you can see that that's added a 3D relief to just that particular colour so I can do the same now with the black colour what I'm going to do this time is to create a beveled edge with a start height of 2.5 so this is only going to start where the red finishes and I need to make sure that I have merge high if I were to add this it would create little spikes because the pixels are just overlapping slightly so if I merge high that and I can close the shape editor you can see that that's added the black border onto my text so what I'm going to do now is to import the chilies back from the clip art library <coughs> so if we go back to the 2D view and open the relief clip art library there you can see my peppers and what I'm going to do is to just move these and make them a little bit smaller they say like so and I'll move those to there maybe a little bit smaller still let's say round about there now if I take a look on the 3D view I can check what the height is so if I just rotate around you can see the blue is my clip art that I've brought in what I could just do is enter the range there say I wanted to do it 5mm higher specific value and apply that you can see it drops down or I could just use the slider bar here and apply it so I'll just bring it to somewhere around about the top of the text and then I'm going to paste that down and I can close the clip art library then there you can see that that's imported my peppers so I can close the clip art library so what I'm going to do now is to do a smooth relief as you can see the edges here a little bit jagged a little bit sharp I need smoothing out what I'm going to do is turn on the zero plane for this and I'm going to open up the smooth relief so this is going to just give you a little introduction into the sculpting tools so if I click apply you can see that that's smoothed the whole of the relief out now I'm going to do a little bit of sculpting here you can see we have two sculpting methods that are being introduced into ArtCam Insignia so we've got the smooth tool and we've got the erase tool so I'm going to use the erase tool I'm going to leave it on these values here and what I'm going to do is just hover over the peppers I don't want these to be so uniform I want them to look a little bit more natural so I'm just going to start erasing over the peppers just so they look a little bit weird to be completely honest 
and they've got a few bumps and lumps in there. So they say that that will do. Close that tool down now. And now you can see it's got a few more lumps and bumps in there instead of looking like a perfect dome. Okay, so it gives it a little bit more of a natural looking effect. And what I'm going to do now is to add some textures onto the peppers and also onto the background. So if I open up the texture relief and I'm going to do this over the selected colour. So the selected colour is red, so it's going to do it over the red peppers. I could use a sphere if I wanted to, so I could add that. Now you can see it's added a spherical texture. I could do the same with a cone, a pyramid let's say. You can see pyramid texture. I could change the sizing, the spacing if I wish to. So there you can see it's a little bit larger. I could also create a weave. Now you can see a weave. If I just zoom in there, see we've got a weave. But what I'm going to do, which is quite nice, is to do it from a file. And what I'm going to use is an ArtCam relief file. So I'm just going to drop a relief on top of this. So I'm going to the textures folder. And I'm going to use this crumpled texture here. So there you can see that that's given me a preview in blue. I'm going to change the size of that and I'm going to change the height of it just so it's only very subtle. And then I'm going to add that. Now if you just take a close look at the R here and the P, you can see it's slightly added this crumpled texture onto it. I didn't want it to be too harsh because what I'm going to be doing is creating another texture behind that. So I'm just going to delete all of my vectors for a moment. And I'm going to select this tool to create a boundary from relief. And I'm going to click here and that will create vectors around the boundary of my relief. If I go to a plan view, I'm just going to create a rectangle around this at 250. And I'm going to click create. Center that in the screen. And I'm just going to select all of the vectors. I'm going to do a texture relief again now, but I'm going to do this using selected vector. And I'm going to do it from file again, but this time we're going to use a picture. I'm going to use this floorboards uh, JPEG picture here. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. If I rotate it around, you can see that that's added this floorboard texture to the background of the red peppers. Now, I'm going to quickly machine this now. If I click on toolpaths, here you can see all of the toolpaths available to ArtCam Insignia. I previously mentioned that it was more geared towards production and manufacture, so we have uh, save toolpath templates within there, we have batch calculate, we've got all of the toolpaths that are available as modules for ArtCam Express. We have extra toolpath which is the bevel carving toolpath. What I'm going to do is just create a basic machine relief on this. I'm going to do it using an automatic boundary. So this is going to automatically find the boundary of this. And I'm just going to use a, a 1.5mm ball nose cutter. And I'm also going to use a 12mm M mil to rough this out. Step down, I'm going to change that to about 2mm. And I'm going to set up my material and calculate the toolpath. So there I have my toolpaths for the machine relief. I'm just going to cut the part out. I'm 
make sure that I've got the outside selected and I'm just going to use the same 12mm end mill cut the part out now I can simulate this And then I can save the tool paths by selecting here, selecting my post, and then saving the tool paths. So thank you for watching this demonstration. Hope that you learned a little bit about ArtCam Insignia, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.